Given vector u in component form, we're asked to find the magnitude and direction, where the direction is the angle in which the vector points measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. And we're told to give the angle theta in degrees. Let's first sketch the vector in standard position, which means the initial point is at the origin. And then from here, because the x component is negative six, we would move left six units. And because the y component is two, from here we move up two units. This is where the terminal point of the angle in standard position would be. Here's the graph of the vector in standard position. Notice how by sketching the x and y components, we now have a right triangle in the second quadrant which we can use to determine the magnitude, which is the length of the vector. Notice how this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, as well as the direction of the vector, which again is the angle measured from the positive x-axis to the vector, this angle here. We can determine the magnitude using the Pythagorean theorem, where the hypotenuse is normally c. If we replace c with the magnitude of the vector, we have the magnitude is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. For the direction of the vector, because we're on the coordinate plane, we have tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, and therefore theta equals our tangent of y divided by x. We just need to be careful though because we want the angle to be in this interval here from zero to 360 degrees, and the output or range of our tangent is the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. So we do need to make sure we give theta as the correct measure. Let's begin by determining the magnitude, which is indicated either using single or double vertical bars. Using double vertical bars, we have the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of the quantity, the square of negative six plus the square of two, which is equal to the square root of the quantity 36 plus four and therefore the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of 40, which we need to simplify. The square root of 40 will simplify if 40 has any perfect square factors, and since 40 is equal to four times 10, and four is a perfect square, this will simplify. The square root of 40 is equal to the square root of four times the square root of 10, which means the exact simplified magnitude of vector u is equal to two square root 10. And now let's work on determining the angle theta. Theta is equal to arctangent of y divided by x, or if we want the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is two divided by negative six, which simplifies to negative one third, giving us arctangent of negative one third. And now we will go to the calculator and get an approximation for theta. We need to make sure the calculator is in degree mode by pressing the mode key, and notice how degree is highlighted. So we go back to the home screen, enter second tangent for inverse or arctangent, and enter negative one divided by three, close parenthesis, and enter. Running to two decimal places, we have approximately negative 18.43 degrees, but notice how this is not the angle we want for our direction because this angle is not in the interval and it's also in the wrong quadrant. If we sketch negative 18.43 degrees on the coordinate plane, the terminal side will point in the opposite direction of the angle we are looking for. Negative 18.43 degrees is this angle here. Though it's not the angle we want, it does tell us the reference angle for our angle in quadrant two is 18.43 degrees, which is here. And of course we can use this to determine the angle we want, which is going to be 180 degrees minus 18.43 degrees, which is equal to 161.57 degrees. So let's label this theta, theta sub one, because it's not our direction angle. Our direction angle theta is approximately 161.57 degrees. So in determining theta, it is important to make sure the angle terminates in the correct quadrant and that it's in the given interval. 
and that's why it's important to always sketch the vector in standard position. I hope you found this helpful.